Well, Sam, looks like we found out what's been causing all the big trouble in the North Atlantic. Yeah, nothing says drama on the high seas like a cheesed-off giant octopus defending its turf. It's time we taught this ornery critter its proper place in the food chain, Max. I like them deep-fried with lemon. From Hex Hawk, I stab at thee! For Pete's sake, I spit my bad breath at thee! The drama's done. The seas are safe once again for giant multinational fishing fleets to cast their drift nets with reckless abandon. We return victorious, proud with the scars of battle! <laughs> Looks like I'm wearing polka dot jammies. But sadly, that cheap two-bit octopunk nabbed my pocket watch. Where exactly did you keep a pocket watch, Max? That watch had sentimental value, Sam. It had a secret compartment where I kept all my favorite toenail clippings. Well, I know this can never replace the one you lost, but here. <gasps> it shines like the head of Mr. Papadopoulos. Where did you get it? It was an impulse purchase from that friendly street hawker. It's got all the bells and whistles. <laughs> Button A is for regular time, B is for military time, C for your blood pressure, A and B turn it into a personal massager, A and B plus C shows your IQ. What happens if I press them all? Something altogether zany, I bet. Incredible. The pedestrian special effects, the hackneyed imagery. We're tumbling backwards through the ages. Ooh, time travel. That's way better than a toenail compartment. Where and when the heck are we? According to my new watch, it's... Oops. Holy mother of pearl and a sidecar going 80. We've rambled all the way back to the dawn of time. Careful, Max. Our slightest movement might alter the course of human history. The simple act of swatting a fly could change the Earth's entire timeline. Now we'll see if all those science fiction stories are true. The strange part is, they keep the city much cleaner. I could do this all day. You know, Sam, playing fast and loose with destiny is fun and all, but all this time travel reminds me of science class. What if I'm learning stuff? Yeah, ain't it great? The simple days of youth. <laughs> hey, that reminds me. There's a stop I want to make. You should have thought of that before we left, Sam. Not that kind of stop, Doughhead. Although I did sneak behind the thirsty fern back in 2 million BC. I shudder to think of the repercussions that's gonna have. Soft, marketable baby versions of ourselves. Look at me, Sammy. I'm Daniel Boob. Uh... <laughs> you crack me up, Max. This sure stirs up a few long suppressed memories. And explains all those sticky nightmares I have about possessed Berman headwear. Well, well. If it isn't Sam and Maxi, freelance scoobers. It's Melon Hargraves. Swaggering poster boy for unchecked bullyism. He delighted in rubbing your fur the wrong way. And stealing your lunch and giving you pink bellies. I can't watch. It's so demeaning. Pink bellies. I hated those. To this day, I hate those. Curse you, men and hard graves! No, Sam, we dare not interfere lest we alter our own futures. You're right, Max. Sorry. Hey, now he's dressing you like a girl. Max? Max? Now remember, go for the soft underbelly first. Save the grizzly bits for later. Words of wisdom, Gramps! Ah! Get him off! Ah! Get him off! Ah! Shame on you, Big Max. What about all that yada about altering our futures? Relax. I only passed on my unsettling ability to unhinge my lower jaw. What could possibly happen? Gee, I don't remember checking into the Y. Do you, Sam? Sam? 
Where are you, Sam? Say something! Give me a sign! Hello there, friend. Whew, what a relief. For a minute, I thought something awful happened to oh, you. Oh, if your llama is all me and your gibbon's getting gritty, there's no better place to go to in this great big stinking city. If there's an eye-burning aroma wafting off your buffalo, Sam's Discount Pet Wash is the place you ought to go. Sam's Discount Pet Wash? No! Make it stop! Now, this may sting a bit. Ah! What have I done? Everything's changed. Gotta find Sim. Oh, if your llama is all me and your gibbon's getting gritty, there's no better... Sam! Welcome, stranger. Are you here for the special? Sam, it's me! Max! Don't you know me? We're partners! We grew up together! Think back, man! Hmm. I do vaguely recall a fuzzy bunny pal with whom I wiled away the hazy halcyon days of my youth. Yeah? Yeah? Then one day, something happened. I ate a bad head cheese sandwich and wandered off in a hallucinogenic daze. I came to 15 years later in a remote Tibetan monastery. I had attained higher consciousness, but still, I always felt there was something missing. Besides shorts. It was me! Me! I was missing! But I'm back! Here to save you from this sorry existence! I think you should leave now. You're scaring Patches. <laughs> I got it! I got it! <sighs> I guess I do got it. Hello? It's for you. Oh. Sam's Discount Pet Wash? Yeah. Yeah. No. He said that? What did you say? Well, then what did he say? No. Was it the commissioner, Sam? Who's the commissioner? It was my booking agent. He says there's bad trouble in the North Atlantic. Something about a rogue octopus with a bad case of ick. A rogue octopus? It's deja vu all over again. Let's roll. <laughs> Must be how all these time travel shows go. Ring any bells? This is what we do, Sam. We're the freelance police. These are just licorice, right? Feel free to jump in anytime, Sam. Sorry. As a monk, I was taught to revere all life. We are one with even the lowest of creatures. Even if it's slapping you silly while going for your wallet? The path of violence can never lead to harmony. Ow! Now you're just being ridiculous. What's it gonna take to push this guy's buttons? A pink belly. He's giving you a pink belly, Sam. Come on, have you no shame? Pink bellies. I hated those. To this day, I hate those. Curse you, Melon Hargraves! Ah! That's it, second boy. It's only Melon if you believe it. Welcome to your destiny, Sam. How do you feel? Kind of dizzy, but at last I found my true calling, the rash and reckless life of a freelance cop. <laughs> I preened the ticks off my last cat. And I'm swearing off meddling with the fabric of time. Looks for all the world like things are back to normal, little pal. Sending that giant octopus back in time has restored the natural order of things. Or a reasonable facsimile. Did I mention that you cracked me up, Max? All the time, Sam. Now, this may sting a bit. Death from above! Death from above! Hi, kids! How would you like to own your very own lovable paper bag Max Head hand puppet? I've got one, as do all the people I respect and admire. I like it! Here's what to do. Cut these shapes out of white construction paper. Then, glue them onto a paper lunch bag in a face-like configuration. Draw Max's adorable features and the inside of his gaping maw on the bag. If you feel ambitious, you can include everything Max may have eaten in the last 24 hours. Make a bunch and use them to put on twisted puppet shows for the neighborhood kids, which will affect them later in life. Use it to communicate ideas and concepts to people of other lands. Max's terrifying head is a universal symbol of something or other. <laughs> keep one in your first aid kit, and don't forget to keep a spare in the family car, okay? Well, this has grown tiresome. Until next time, kids. Goodbye!